Hey friend, Roger Christopherson here again with another first listener review. And uh, yeah, I was excited to get in this one. Got it a little early and I dove into it and uh, it was cool. It was very cool. Uh, we're talking about Mammoth WVH and it's Mammoth 2. Um, if you guys heard any of his first uh, Wolfgang, <laughs> Wolfgang Van Halen, is Van Halen? Wolfgang Van Halen is who we are talking about here. And uh, <laughs> I got that out of the way. Um, if you guys heard any of his first stuff, pretty much know what to expect. It's This is definitely just part two of uh, what could just be described as an extension of the very first album. There's not a whole lot different here going on. Um, he definitely does all the same stuff again, plays all the instruments himself, and uh, and does it very well. He's a very talented musician, I'll get that right out of the way. This dude is super talented. Um, I mean, he's got a, he plays drums killer. I mean, his dad is, you know, a phenomenal guitar player, and he can obviously play like his dad if you guys saw any of that uh, Taylor Hawkins stuff where he played Not For Teacher and uh, what did they do? I'm Fire? I'm the one? I can't remember what the other song was, but anyway. Um, nailed all the guitar parts this dude can play if you come here expecting that you're wrong you're not gonna get any of that he's definitely got his own style of drumming his own style of guitar playing and he's definitely got a unique style of writing songs um so don't expect anything that's gonna sound like van halen here uh this is a very very well produced album they did in the 5150 studios he did have help with the engineering and the only other help I had, I guess, is uh, his uncle, uh, I can't remember his name, but on the Bertinelli side, uh, helped him with the wah-wah pedal on one of the songs. And he also did uh, a kind of like a tribute to his dad on this one, uh, and that he took uh, his dad's Frankenstein guitar and he uh, ran it through this 5150 head, and he did uh, some guitar for that on the song Take a Bow. So if you're checking out that song, make sure you listen closely to that. and. See what you think. And, uh, you know, the, the song, Right, that kicks us off is like definitely unique. It's got a, a very uh, fast paced uh, guitar bass thing going on. And uh, the one thing I did notice throughout this whole album is that uh, he plays bass like a guitar player, and that he plays a lot of the riffs that the guitar plays, just plays right along with it. And me, like, like bass is like one of my favorite instruments so I always kind of listen to hear what that's going on I kind of hear things that I would think would be happening so that's just like a personal thing there just the taste that I have but you know that's his style of writing and throughout all these songs they're pretty much just in your face rock songs all the way up until like track 7 I'm Alright where it doesn't really do a whole lot of different stuff actually Miles Above Me has got some cool things in there too but it's they're all good songs and they all like really like really rock but uh, as a collection you tend to like kind of forget which one's which actually and I kind of had the same problem with the first one uh, in the second not the second half but the like the tail end of the album tends to you know the BPMs go down a little bit and it isn't until the end of Better Than You which is actually a pretty long song I think that was close to seven minutes as well there's a couple of them that are pretty long in here um, you know, kick, kicks back up again. Uh, I do like the fact that, like I said, he plays drums, and it did sound most of the time like real drums, not like uh, samples, I guess is what I'm trying to say, not like they were fake drums, but you know, a lot of people use samples nowadays, and it does have that production, like the, I hate to say, the butt rock uh, production style to it, but it's very full, very low end, full, and sometimes the vocals got a little bit buried in it, which is kind of a shame, because it really does sing very, very well. Um, I'm getting messages in the middle of doing this. I forgot to silence my phone. But uh, anyway, uh, and background vocals, killer background vocals. He does um, a lot of very tasteful guitar playing, like filler things going on and stuff that I think a lot of bands forget about. Um, maybe not even just nowadays, but a lot of bands like don't take advantage of the fact they could do a lot of little things here to like enhance certain parts of the song. He does that very well. Um, and, you know, not a whole lot more to say about this one because, like if, like I said, if you heard the first one, this one's very similar to it. Um, I just, you know, a few little nitpicky things that I had about it here, but overall, really good uh, album, really good songwriting, 
Uh, I like the, a lot of the little things he does. Like actually, another example, I'm like miles above me. He does that little thing where they, like Foo Fighters do it a lot too, but he does like the slide down on the guitar and the bass together, and uh, it just gives it a little cool little effect. He does it actually a lot through there, but that one just kind of sticks out in my mind. And uh, super tight playing, super tight production. Uh, you can tell they took a lot of time in making sure everything was done very well and tasteful. And it, he doesn't try to copy like anybody else. It doesn't sound like he's trying to go for his own style, which, you know, it, it's hard to find that nowadays, <laughs> especially with all the music that's been created throughout time. It's very hard to be original. I think in the style of music, he does that. I would like to hear maybe on the next one a little bit more like variations, just like. Most of this is just like full force, full throttle ahead all the time, which unfortunately I think tends to like make things not as memorable. So I just think maybe a little bit more variation in the, you know, the uh, intensity, <laughs> I guess would, is a way to put it. So anyway, that's just my two cents on it. I always, always feel free to tell me what you guys think of it. Definitely worth checking out. I'm going to be playing this one again for sure. I definitely thought it was a pretty good pretty good album so i got a bunch of stuff i picked out for this weekend there's cool some cool releases finally <laughs> that came out that i uh was, was waiting for so uh as always please you know like share subscribe and thanks for all the comments as always and uh some cool stuff going on in the, the comment section there so uh until next time talk to you guys later see you